ஹலோ எவ்ரி வந்து பிரசாந்த் தியர் வெல்கம் டு மை சேனல் ஸோ வி ஆர் இன் அ பைத்தன் ரெக்வஸ்ட் ஏபி ஆட்டோமேஷன் சீரீஸ் ஸோ டுடே இன் திஸ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி த போஸ்ட் ரெக்வஸ்ட் அண்ட் ஹவு டு பாஸ் த பேலோடு இன் ஜெய்ஷன் ஃபைல் டு த ஸ்கிரிப்ட் ஓகே ஃபஸ்ட் வில் சி த பேசிக் போஸ்ட் ரெக்வஸ்ட் ஓகே ஸோ சி திஸ் திஸ் இஸ் அ போஸ்ட் ரெக்வஸ்ட் ஸோ வென் ஐ பாசிங் திஸ் பேலோடு லைக் நேம் அண்ட் ஜாப் திஸ் வில் இன்க்ளூடட் இன் த டேட்டா பேஸ் அண்ட் இட் வில் கிவ் அ ரெஸ்பான்ஸ் கோட் ஆஸ் டூ நாட் ஒன் டூ ஓ ஒன் so 201 is status code used for creation successfully okay so this is why we going to implement so basically i am going to create a new python file so this is a post like the de- underscore demo okay so in this first for, what is the first task we need to import the request okay next thing is first we need to create the base url so the base underscore url so we need the base url so base url is what request dot in request resin dot in this is the base url after that we need a header okay so basically for this we need a simple header is enough okay header headers equal to underscore test so i'm going to create a there are a couple of request types so here i'm going to create a content type okay content hyphen hyphen type and so actually this is a json okay and we need to pass as a application because this is we are going to pass a json file application json okay so after that we close this okay header is ready so next what are the first thing is base url is ready next is header is ready third one is payload so i will show you normal payload like payload so in this payload so what is the payload the payload which is given here so see this i'm going to copy and paste it here see this payload so i'm going to give like a prashant and he is a qa so that is a payload we can give it name and qa so all three is ready okay now we can hit the api so response equal to request dot post request post request first in this we need to pass the url okay url so base url plus so what we need to pass the string here this is the extra path api user so this is the path i am passing here okay that's done after that next we need to pass the headers i'm going to pass the headers what is the headers key headers hyphen test so i'm passing that parameter the third parameter is payload so payload there is a couple of ways one is json another one is data so today i'm going to use the json so in the json i need to pass the payload see this initially we passed the url headers and payload okay so that is the overall thing okay we done it so after that just to show this so what is the validation we need to verify we are getting 2 no, 201 or not so for that which method we can use response dot status code and suppose you want to re- see the response body means so what do you want to use for that we need to use the print response dot text so this text method will bring all the text in this okay so i'm going to right click and hit on the this file so we got an error so i get a 404 404 this for like like content not bound like that so we'll see maybe i done the url maybe wrong so what i will do i will copy this and paste it in the here itself i am removing the one extra bracket as well okay so simply i'm going to give this okay maybe somewhere we missed a string string see this that's the we i don't have an extra slash na that's the problem so see this i done it up this way okay so this overall 201 and prashant qa so this is a basic one we can passing inside the python file itself but in a case we should keep in this payload in a json file because this is a json format right 
So what I'm going to create, I'm going to create a new file, file, and this is a like users. I'm giving like users dot json file, j a s o n json. That is the extension. See this this file. In this file, I'm going to copy this json and paste it here. So in this, I'm going to give like a Ravi, and he is a developer. Cool, right? So in this okay right now i'm commenting this so it will throw an error because we need a payload right okay so for that first thing i need to take the file okay json underscore file equal to we need to open the file so single quote single quote dot so what is the file name because the root of the file so json it automatically comes because this is uh, our project is inside this and if i put dot slash min it will go to the app request under the app request we have a file name called users dot json okay right now i have json file first i need to i need to load this file okay json payload okay so what i want to do i want to json but i don't have a json so for that i need to import the json okay once i import json dot load see this load okay load the json file see this simply i loaded the file so in this payload what i want to give i want to give the json payload school right so first we need to open the file which we going to read the data json payload then we need to load the into a json after that we need to use it okay right click i'm running this project see this 201 and name is ravi and job as developer okay this is the one in somewhere you, you see any code in real time anyone using the data the same passing a payload data so in that case what you want to give now you want to give on extra steps instead of this you want to use a json dot this is json dot dumps you want dumps the json so you want to give this in front of this file understood right so that is only you want to do you want to give the json dot dumps if suppose you are using data if using json means no issues you can directly pass the period because we are passing a json okay so when you're using a parameter as, as a data so we want to use this if you are using json means as usual you don't need to dump anything you simply have the json keyword see this simply pass json is a payload and you can pass this is only for json suppose we are using any csv or any text file that time you put data okay so that is the difference so if you have any face any issues please put me in the command so from the coming videos i am going to implement pytest framework in request so we moreover we completed basic topics like get request post request headers handling how to read the response those things so from coming videos we are going to implement a pytest framework python pytest framework in the api request api automation okay so thanks for watching um, if you like the video please like and subscribe and share to your